Okay, here, this book arrived on Thursday, I think, and it's called Star Wars Toys, a Super Collector's Wish Book, and it's by Jeffrey T. Carlton, and he's uh, printed books before about collections, and this book's just going to focus on the Star Wars action figures. Got it for, it's from America. US price is $40, I've got it for about 25 came to about 27 off Amazon UK and it's all about just the uh, toys so it's a really good book uh, if you're familiar with the Super Collector Wish book you're going to see that he's used a lot of the same photography you can see here the 12 inch vintage figures from 78 to 80 the Japanese Medicom figures there so this book's just a treasure trove of toys Starts off with all the 12 inch figures. You've got the Power of the Force 12 inch figures there. The Episode 1 12 inch figures. The Power of the Jedi. You've even got the Gentle Giant 12 inch figures. Jumbo figures there. And what else have you got? The Saga Collection 12 inch figures. And then you go into the Sideshow. This massive book is about 400 pages, so I'm going to have to go through this pretty fast to give you an idea of what this book's like. All very interesting, you've got all the action figure accessories and creature sets and stuff like that. All very nice to look at. Just shows you how massive the Star Wars toy collecting industry has been, putting out huge amounts of toys. You've got European box Death Star Escape there and the uh, detention block rescue got both of those plus the US versions as well and what else other bits and bobs it's a really good book let's see more ships and stuff like that or most of these are quite modern things the 30th anniversary packaging uh, D Dagger Squadron B-Wing, the TIE Interceptor Legacy Collection and then here it's quite interesting, page 46 it goes on to the sort of all the different card backs from 78 to present so you start off with the 12 back Luke the Empire Strikes Back Leia, Return of Jedi, R5 Power of the Force, Droids, uh, Ewoks and then we start with Power of the Force in 95 Green Card, Shadows Expanded universe with the action slide. Com, uh, what are those ones? They're flashbacks. Then you've got Comtech episode one figures. Then Power of the Jedi. Saga blue card. Uh, the Clone Wars realistic and Clone Wars animated. Revenge of the Sith. They missed out OTC. Um, Saga collection. Tack. 30th Anniversary Collection, Saga Legends, then you've got 30th Anniversary, uh, Legacy Collection, uh, Clone Wars, in the first type of card it was on, and then you've got uh, Legacy Collection, Saga Legends, Legacy Collection, Saga Legends there, the blue packaging, and then the Clone Wars, then you've got all the loose vintage figures, all nice to look at. And you've got the carded vintage figures, these are just really nice to look at. You've got all the uh, clipper figures, 12 backs. You've got Brazilian glass lighty, Italian harbour, they're pretty rare. And you've got all the Kenner US vintage Star Wars figures, so many. Another page of that, the Han Solo's there, the Layers, the Luke's got all the different looks you can get including the gunner card Luke with brown hair Hoff X-Wing all the other figures Sam Person R5 D4 and even more at the bottom there you've got really rare Canadian cards with both logos the French and English and then you've got some listing of different figures Japanese French tri-logo then you go into Power of the Force, Italian Power of the Force, Gare Stelliari, European or UK packaging, 
the green figures, green cards, more green cards, and then the freeze frame, freeze frame powder force, uh, more figures. This got to go through this really fast. Multi figure for packs, episode one stuff. More episode one, huge amount of figures. Episode one Europeans and Canadian, the ones with the extra figure, bonus pit droid or battle droid. Uh, these are nice figures. These are the Power of the Jedi cards, really nice set. Power of the Jedi, Power of the Jedi accessories, Saga Blue, a lot of Saga Blue figures, including E Font Man up there. Uh, Lots of fi more Power of the Jedi, I mean Power Saga Blue, later Saga Blue releases. Nice figures there. Then multi figure packs, Clone Wars, um, OTC, so they have the OTC, the US releases and the Canadian releases. Really nice figures. Uh, post OTC, including the Sand Trooper, which are rare, kind of the most expensive one out of that lot. Uh, Revenge of the Sith figures, Revenge of the Sith accessories, multi-figure packs, Saga, 2006 figures, uh, even more 2006 figures, uh, Galactic Hunt, multi-figure packs, uh, TAC 2007, really nice set this lot, uh, Saga Legends, Saga Legends again, Ultimate Galactic Hunt figures, uh, Canadian cards, uh, multi-figure packs, including the tins, the figures that came in tin sets, nice, um, more odds and ends, Unleashed, Saga Legends, with the coins, Clone Wars figures, first appearance of the Clone Wars figures, multi-figure packs, um, Legacy Collection 2009, 2008, really nice figures. Some nice figures on this range, including Battle Damage Vader, great figure. Uh, multi figure packs, but um, hot stuff here. Then you've got Clone Wars in this packaging. All these Clone Wars figures. Um, more battle packs and odds and ends, multi figure packs. Uh, Legacy Collection, really nice figures on this one. Saga Legends, Battle Packs again, then the Blue Cards, Saga Legends, 2010. Oh, these are Clone Wars ones actually, Clone Wars. Uh, Multi-figure Packs, and then Saga Legends quite a lot of these ones. Then you've got um, the comic packs, huge load of comic packs that have been released. And this makes you think how many have been cut, been released. Um, more multi-figure packs, Evolutions packs, uh, Disney stuff, Star Wars Disney figures, uh, odds and ends like the Scout Trooper from Battlefront. Uh, the Christmas figures, uh, the OTC figures, then the 2010-2011 vi vintage collection figures, really nice, and more of them there, and then a um, some bootleg figures, bootlegs, more bootlegs, uh, action fleet. Action Fleet Micro Machines, more Action Fleet, Action Fleet, Titanium, Diecast, uh, ti Kenner, uh, Diecast me Metal Figures, more Odds and Ends, uh, Head Knockers, I got that one for two quid in Model Zone, the Greedo, um, more Odds and Ends, Lego Figures, Lego multi packs, ships, and stuff like that. Lego stuff's well expensive. But there's a 
as you can see there's tons of it coins it goes into coins excellent coins again uh, action fleet collector ship that that one's worth a lot of money he's got that at $290 uh, other toys and stuff like that art, art things craft stuff um, more painting stuff uh, dolls collector dolls uh, force attack attackics or whatever it's called got none of this uh, bendems so these just came out around 94 so there's quite a lot of bendems uh, gift sets uh, larger sky scale figures um, force battlers galactic heroes Galactic Heroes, the more Galactic Heroes, huge amount of Galactic Hero stuff. Really, if you're into Star Wars vintage or modern stuff, this book's just a treasure trove and it's just focusing on toys, all the different bits and bobs you could get. Uh, Kubrick's, Japanese figures that Luke I've just got recently. Um, other figures in the line, ones that come in little boxes, the Boba Fett, I've got the j slot Boba Fett Rocket exclusive, the metal figures, just did a review of the Darth Maul, I can't, there it is, that one there, and I've got the IG-88 as well, uh, Mighty Beans, uh, Mighty Mugs, Star Wars Mighty Mugs, if you're into those, uh, mini figures, got that, that's from Spain, that C3PO. Um, other bits and bobs, mini figures, uh, unlicensed stuff, stuff that's been licensed, the applause figures, got two of those sandpaint people. Uh, other things, um, vinyl dolls, the Takara, 8 inch figures, the Unleashed figures, look how many of, of them there are, huge amount of those, they're really good figures, they're more like statues actually, great for displaying. Uh, other toys, Unleashed, um, flying discs, frisbees I guess, uh, games, I've got that one, Adventures of R2-D2, the Canadian box, that was my sister's but I, I've, it's now mine. Okay, um, Games and stuff like that, chess, uh, electronic games, uh, what else have we got? Uh, kites, uh, the micro collection, best in world, all those things. Really, those are quite hard to find. Um, all the micro machine ships. These I've got a lot of these because these came out before Power of the Force back in '95, so you know, you had to collect these all the li like little transforming headsets episode 1 stuff these are quite nice little sets and then all the three packs of the ships Italian versions uh, oddities, the gold packs the titanium series loads of these came out, cool x-ray fleet if you're around 93, 94 the, um, model kits uh, stuff from the 70s, 80s and, and 90s uh, plush dolls let's see, we're on page 357 now let's see if we can get through this whole book more toys and premiums from McDonald's and Burger King and places like that give a view show um, puzzle kits Star Wars puzzle kits, very nice. Uh, stuff from the 70s, 80s, 90s, noughties. Uh, all very interesting if you're a Star Wars geek. So, if you love Star Wars, this book's, and you're into the toys, and you don't want to get stuff, a book that SSP, I've done a review of these two loose. So, you know, that R2D2. I've got a review of that.
Okay, so back to this book. It's a great book. And her, here we've got the West End game figure pack from the 80s. And the figures you could paint. Um, more recent releases for role playing games are role playing gear, transfer sets, some of those are UK, Transformers, the Vinter Transformers. Um, the original Kenner die cast, so you've got the TIE Bomber there, which is really rare. I've got it loose. The TIE Fighter, I've got four of those carded. The Cow Car, car and the Land Speeder. I've got a couple of Land Speeders and Vader's TIE Fighter. Okay, so here's a nice thing to look at Star Speeder 3000 from Disney Star Wars Ride. Um, Star Wars Flying Rockets, Star Wars Japanese uh, little um, space alloy ships, the blasters, weapons, lightsabers, and how many lightsabers there's been, all the Kenner ones, all the Hasbro ones, and now the more realistic ones, more weapons, including the guns from the 70s. Free position rifle, that's the original one from 78 79. Wicked toy, never had it though. Um, wind up figures, and then we reach the end of the book. At, now it goes on to articles about collecting and stuff like that. Um, all very nice to look at. Star Wars, metal slingers, medallions. Paper crafts, uh, more paper crafts, um, stuff about the micro machines, uh, the blue snaggle tooth, the variation with the boot. Just got a nice AFA 75 blue snag for a good price. Uh, the trading cards, stuff from New Zealand and Australia, Scanlands. Trading cards, ice cream wrappers, uh, then the index, people that contributed, and more for next time. So overall, oh, this is a really good book. I think it's a great book, and I'd highly recommend it. Forty dollars in the US, and um, you know, so it's a it's a good book. It's got pretty comprehensive, it's got most things, it's got a few areas that are a bit lacking. I wish it had more of the vintage uh, foreign cards, which I'm well into, like Palatoy and Meccano. It's got a few, a few shots, but nothing much. It's got the Italian Power of the Force figures. They're nice. Uh, droids. Japanese little box poppies, the Argentinian ones. I've got the Stormtrooper AFA 85 on YouTube. Uh, Meccano Jawa, easy to find that one. Palatoy, it has the pr prices for Palatoy, this doesn't have many pictures. And then this is really nice though, the uh, variations of the Kenner 78 to 85 figures, really nice. Uh, it's got that layer. Nice figure there. Uh, the Luke, the Han Solos. Finally got the uh, small headed Han this year. R2D2 original. Anakin Skywalker, he's worth a fortune on that card. Um, Darth Vader, just got him on the 12 back. AFA 75 with a Takara sticker. As I said before, the Me uh, Brazilian card, the Italian. Hasn't got much about Lily Lede, the and they're like heavily collected the uh, Mexican cards. So still, this is a great book, and you've got powerful the force stuff. You've got every everything. So it's quite balanced. It's got modern stuff. It's got vintage stuff. It's got um, all these cool looking ships, and I really like this. Even though it misses out the OTC, it's a great uh, great page. Shows you all the different cards. It's a bit out of date now because you've got more, you've got uh, like the um, vintage collection and stuff like that. 
but this is a good book for forty dollars or t about twenty seven pounds. You can't go wrong with this. It's you know it's a, a tr real treasure trove. So gets a thumbs up from me. P published by Schiffer, or S yeah, and it's by Jeffrey T. Carlton, and it's just out this year. And there's the back of the book. Great book. And it says, I'll read what it says at the back, it says, Assembled for the first time are all the Star Wars toys from a galaxy far, far away. This edition focuses solely on the Star Wars toys, with the th thorough text and the exhaustive listings dedicated to the documentation and appraisal of generations of favourites from around the world. Over 8,600 colour photos, many not seen in any publication, help to deci decipher from the common to the rare and exotic at local shops online and abroad. Covered here are toys ranging from action figures and their vehicles to weapons and toys and yo-yos. Designed as an independent authority on Star Wars toys from 1977 to 2012, this book is a complimentary companion to Star Wars Super Collector's Wish Book. For anyone with a passion for toys, past and present, or the epic Star Wars film, this book is a rare gem. Okay. So overall, I'd give this book about 8 out of 10. It's not perfect, but it's a very good book. And as you can see, it's pretty exhaustive. It's got the gentle giant figures there, the jumbo ones. They're quite nice. So you need a massive amount of space to store them. You've got all the 12 inch figures, then you've got the accessories. It's all So it's a good book. It's far ranging. There's a new book coming out. I should get that this week, hopefully. It's the by Sansui, and that just focuses on all the action figures, and that should that should mo that's going to probably most likely trump this book. So, but if you're a massive Star Wars head and you collect all this stuff, then this is something you should consider because it's so comprehensive and exhaustive. Oh, I'm exhausted lo looking through all the pages, but you know so. And it's all colour photography, it's good, good pictures, good photography, the pictures are the right size, there's a lot of writing, the writing's a bit small, so you, and sometimes you have to flick back and forth between the pages to find the actual listing. Prices are in US dollars, and the prices are reasonable, I mean, I think they're more at the low end of what stuff's really worth, uh, you know. But pricing is, I guess, guided by the Americans, and because I think over here stuff tends to be a lot more expensive in the UK. So you know, it's up to um, you how much you're willing to pay for something. Some things never come up. Some things are really common. So it's up to you. Uh, it does list actually the Mexican stuff and the Pada toy stuff, but it doesn't have enough pictures of of those things. Japanese little boxes, the double pack, Kenna. So, yeah, I, I'd say it's a good book. I mean, you know, um, it's hard to get. Uh, we used to be able to get Lee's AFA action figure news quite easy in the UK. Now it's like published only five times a year, and that's not re re really that well updated anymore. And uh, that's not exclusively about Star Wars, so, you know, this is the, probably one of the best sources to go for, go to. Um, I think someone in America bought this book and they really gave it the thumbs down, so I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm going to give it a thumbs up and say it's a good book, and if you're into Star Wars fi figure collecting, modern or vintage or, or both, which I am, then you you can't go wrong with this book because it's, it's got all the figures from a whole range so you've got all the power of the Jedi figures here the major variations like the biker scout with the blast stain and you know so if you wanted to you know look at a certain era like a certain year maybe of action figures you can just go to the go to that chapter and just look for, look at it so you've got all the sort of later release saga blue figures and then you've got all the accessories that came with them and the uh, multi-figure packs and exclusives and stuff like that and then you've got the OTC 
These are really nice figures, both the US and Canadian variations, plus the post OTC, then the Revenge of the Sith. You know, can't go wrong with this book, so, you know. I mean, as you can see on the pages, the pictures are great, and you can't go wrong with this. So, you know, if you're interested, it's about £30 in the UK, $40 in the States. You never know, you might be able to get it for cheaper. Alright, cheers, bye.